Hey, I'm Jake Anderson, Microgrid Project Engineer, and I'm leading the Clareview and Stanage Bay Microgrid Feasibility Study. Today, I'm going to take you behind the scenes at our Microgrid and Isolated Systems Test Facility, or MIST, where we're going to meet some of the people and look at the products they're testing as part of our Clareview and Stanage Bay Microgrid Feasibility Study. Let's go take a look. Hi, welcome to the MIST facility in Cairns. So here we can do uh, integration on multiple devices and test them um, in a controlled environment. This allows us to be able to test things like diesel generators, uh, battery systems, solar, potentially hydrogen fuel cells to stress test the equipment um, so it's safe to deploy. This is Dave, our Product Integration Technical Officer. Dave has been busy setting up the testing of the inverter and battery systems that we are using for the feasibility study. Each individual battery has to be tested before they are installed in the racks and connected to the rest of the technology in the mist. Speaking of simulations, let's go meet Mitch and find out more about the Real-Time Data Simulator, or RTDS. So, as part of the MIST facility, here we have a supercomputer which allows us to recreate real-world electrical networks and simulate things like big solar and batteries which may be connected to those networks. Yeah, so behind me we have a big battery inside a shipping container. As you can see, it's made of a bunch of smaller batteries strung together. As part of our microgrid study, we will use this battery system along with some solar that we've got on the roof and a simulated load and use that basically to simulate a community microgrid. This battery will be able to supply a community when the main network is down. Because the energy needs of some of our remote communities are different and the space available in these communities is often limited, here in the Innovation Lab, we're looking at residential and commercial solar systems. Setting up these small solar and battery systems in a microgrid arrangement may hold the key to improving the energy supply in some of our remote communities. These simulations help us replicate Clairview and Stanage Bay's electrical networks in our simulated world so that we can see how solar, batteries and communication equipment might perform under various network conditions. There's lots of options available for our engineers as they're designing microgrids. These simulations help us to work out which option is the most viable solution. So upgrading our network out in the field can be quite expensive. That's why we want to test this stuff in the laboratory so we can make sure we get the right solution for our network and our customers. We're in the final stages of our project. When our testing and modeling is complete, we'll make recommendations on how to improve the reliability of our three phase and SWIR networks. I hope you've enjoyed the behind the scenes tour of our MIST facility.